I am pleased to greet all the participants of the UATP Trolleybus Committee in Bergen, Norway. As you know, uh, I am Roberto Berke, speaking from Brazil, uh, where the Football World Cup is now taking place. Therefore, unfortunately, I could not join you in the Bergen meeting. At the present, I am the UATP Latin American Working Group Coordinator, the Financial Director of the Engineering Institute of Sao Paulo, and also the Electrical Engineering of the Sao Paulo State-owned company EMTU. MTU is responsible for the coordination of the intermunicipal concessioner of public bus lines and construction implementation and management of BRT corridors and implementation of electrical city bus trolleybus system crossing five municipalities of the Greater Sao Paulo metropolitan region, which have more than 30 million people. Latin America has 36 countries and a population of 570 million inhabitants, 389 million in urban areas. 30% of the population live in cities with more than 1 million inhabitants. A working group target is how can a trolleybus system be a sustainable development strategy and improve quality of life in cities. 222 million people live in cities with less than 500,000 inhabitants. About 14% of the inhabitants of the region are in megacities. Our meeting since August last year have focused on establish preliminary information, definition of report and profile for policy recommendation, presentation of report summary for approval, energy chapter, presentation of Latin American energy supply by CIER. The first meeting showed that trolleybus a sustainable transportation alternative for 50 million people in 1,018 cities between 300 and 500,000 inhabitants with trolleybus systems in BRT and on in regular system, with countries as shown below, Argentine, five cities, Brazil, 47 cities, Mexico, 21 cities. These cities between 300 and 500,000 inhabitants have no clear strategy for sustainable transport policies. A trolleybus system can be an option for a sustainable transport policy alternative, considering a mobility index for the region of 1.5 trips a day would totalize 75 million trips a day in 180 cities and at the potential of 26 million trips a day. Latin America Report, Public Policy Group and Technology Group. Main points, costs, contract implementation, implementation infrastructure, environmental impact, and life cycles. Report summary consists of introduction, challenges of implementation, contracts, cost, environmental and social impacts, system simulation chart. As for introduction, policy group considered overview of policies for transport using in Latin America in cities of 300 to 500,000 inhabitants and technology group consider overview of the fleet type of vehicles used in Latin America cities. As for challenges of implementation, 
the policy group considered necessary physical infrastructure, fleet, and electrical power demand, garage, and special operations conditions. Technology group considered how to choose the most appropriate type of vehicles, comparative technology. This, uh, the International Committee will cooperate with the data. Prepare new staff, new companies. In uh, this item, contract policy group considered infrastructure design contract infrastructure erection and construction, deadlines for project execution, overhead, energy supply contracts, operation contracts, infrastructure and electrical system maintenance, contract deadlines, tariff schemes. Technology group considering vehicles purchase, require tests, manpower training, fleet maintenance, observing conception of fuel, tires, additives, and others. Cost considered. Policy group, infrastructure, design civil and electric works, overhead, update overhead, and overhead life cycle. Technology group considered. Vehicles, maintenance, fleet renewal, fleet resale, life cycles. Uh, environmental and social impacts, the uh, policy group considered benefits, decrease in pollution levels, health impacts, change in the energy matrix, job generation. Technology group considered cooperation of vehicles, fuel consumption, and job generation. A system simulation chart uh, as a trolleybus system with a vehicle with proven technology will be simulated considering a demand of 300,000 passengers day up to 60,000 passengers day in a 18 hour day operation with the below variables. Alternative energy uh, in the last in last meeting was about the case of Monterey Metro in Mexico. The system is fully supplied by a waste to energy plant. Investment of 4.2 million euros, life cycle of 30 years and generation 50,000 megawatt hour per year. This is a good alternative for a new tribal system. Thank you all very much, and we are at your disposal for any detailed information you need from the Latin American Working Group, and I hope to see you all soon in our meetings in Rio and Sao Paulo next November in Brazil. Thank you again.